Howdy boys, this is NPC, and today we're going to be talking about which cop car you should buy if you can only buy one, because I know the cop cars are super expensive, just about $5 million per cop car, and that is $15 million total. Uh, of course, without the trade price unlocked, you can just do a dispatch mission in order to unlock the trade price. But for the sake of this video, we're going to pretend that no one has trade prices unlocked so that we can keep it consistent and in case people are too lazy to unlock them, that sort of thing. So I'm going to give you guys the short answer and then I'm going to explain my thought process afterwards and uh, you can stick around for that. Whether or not you decide to stick around, be sure to sub anyway. We're going for 15k by the end of today and we are very close to doing that. So the short answer is the Dorado. You should buy the Dorado. I know it's the most expensive one. It is five million and five thousand dollars. It is the only one to actually break five million, but it is a beast. The Dorado Cruiser is such a nice vehicle to drive. You are going to get the most insane satisfaction from driving this vehicle because it's got a fantastic swivel on it. It's got super good mobility, like it turns really fast and it doesn't spin out it almost feels like it's going to spin out but it doesn't spin out and it's great to break the cycle of you know the lspd tradition and blaine county tradition of just getting your ankle snapped all the time the officers there stand no chance they've got a whole lineup of wheelchairs uh, for officers who are returning from duty after dealing with us so um, the dorado cruiser it can completely prevent that from happening it whips around super fast like lightning fast on top of that it's got pretty good acceleration it's got decent braking power and and of course that's nice but uh the, one of the best parts of course is that it's an suv cop car it's got good off-roading capabilities which is something that no cop car currently has because our best cop car to date which is the interceptor sucks in the dirt it's a pavement princess and the dorado cruiser is just the go i highly recommend that you pick one up if you can only buy one cop car you should pick one up it's got a trade price of three million seven hundred fifty thousand dollars and uh now i'll tell you about the other two cars in case you guys are curious as to why you shouldn't get them so our second most expensive vehicle is the greenwood cruiser the greenwood cruiser is four million nine hundred ten thousand dollars without the trade price and about three point seven million with the trade price unlocked now, the reason you don't want to buy a Greenwood is because it's the slowest of the three. It's not actually like a terrible, terrible vehicle. It's probably a little better handling than the LE Cruiser, or at least doesn't feel as like fake to drive. It doesn't feel like you'd get your ankle snapped as hard in that vehicle. Uh, but at the same time, it is still, it is very expensive. It doesn't have all that much going for it. The customization, I think, is the weakest of the three that were released today. And it's just slow. Really, it's just slow. In a straight line, the Ellie Cruiser might have it beat. I'm going to do some police car testing later, so stay tuned for that. Sub if you're new and you want to see that. Um, and then lastly, the Impaler. The Impaler, I actually thought was going to be the worst one. It is the cheapest one at 4.7 mil. Trade price is three and a half million dollars. And the Impaler is actually oddly nice to drive. It's got a whole bunch of like weird customization. Like uh, it's got all, the, all these drag pieces. It's got these huge front splitters, spoilers, skirts. It's even got an option with like the parachute, a drag parachute in the back. It's got some pretty crazy liveries as well. Design wise, I'm not really sure what the point of that was. It was it's supposed to be like a cop race car or something, but performance wise, it actually kind of seems to match what it was going for. It, it It's decently fast off the line around the same pace as the Dorado. I'm not gonna say it's the fastest thing ever, but for a cop car, I think it actually goes pretty fast and it gets up to speed pretty quickly because that's something that all of the cop cars seem to struggle with aside from the interceptor that one it takes it takes a second or two but it gets there you know this one is just like you're you're moving pretty quickly this and the dorado and one of the best parts in my opinion is that the impaler brakes super well the brakes are like actually good brakes not like just mediocre you know not uh, slightly above average they're just good brakes like you stop so fast in that car and um but it's it's kind of nice it's kind of nice that they've given us options to just not get our ankles completely shattered they're gonna be great features for manhunts so stay tuned for those if you're new my manhunts are sick i've got a whole bunch of them on the channel make sure to check those out that's my you know my review on the impaler and the greenwood if i could rank them i would say dorado first impaler second greenwood 
definitely not a must have. Unless there's some secret tech that I'm missing, I think the Dorado is by far the best one. It's gonna be worth your money to pay the extra, you know, 300 or $100,000. You're already paying like 5 million anyway. Or you can do some dispatch work and once you do some dispatch work, you'll be saving a lot of money, like million dollars, over a million dollars. But there you have it, you should buy the Dorado. That's the TLDR of the video by the Dorado. Anyways, be sure to drop a like if you guys enjoyed. Comment down below. Let me know which is your favorite cop car, which one you're looking forward to, which one you're buying. And sub if you're new or going for 15K, I think it's super doable. I'm going to be continuing to upload for as long as I possibly can. And that's about it. See you in the next one. Peace.